AG Squad. Welcome back to my sort of is it worth it? So today's episode, we got this cool image right here, and basically what this is is a cordless handheld stick vacuum. If you see for the one that we got right here, it's from this brand, and here is basically what the package looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right. So once you guys open up, here is basically what the inside looks like. So the first thing inside right here, they do provide guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And right underneath that, you can see we do have everything else, and it's all well organized. So let's take everything out first. So the first thing inside right here, they do provide you guys one of the tools that can use in between like the cracks and hard to reach places. Next step right here, it looks like they do provide you guys the wall mount option, and they also provide you guys some screws for you guys to mount it onto the wall. Next step right here. Right here, they provide you guys a two-in-one tool. So they basically give you guys an option right here. But let's push it out. You guys can basically use it as a brush option as well. So really cool how they do give you guys the option available. So that way, when you guys are not using it, you guys can push back in. And just use it like that. Next thing inside right here, they do provide you guys another filter. So there's basically one inside, but they provide you guys a back of one just in case. And for this filter, if you see right there, they do tell you guys that it is washable. And next up right here, they do probably have a cable that can plug in to actually recharge the product. And next thing inside right here, they do probably guys the pole. So you see the way how they design the pole or the stick, it actually looks pretty nice. So one side will connect onto the head and the other side will connect to the feet. And for this part right here, it's basically a release button for you to release it from the head. And right here, we do have a button for you guys to push and that will allow you guys to extend the actual pole. So let's go like this. You can see how much further it goes. And once you guys want to bring it back in, you guys can push it again and it comes back in really easily. And when you guys do feel the material that's on here, it definitely feels like a high quality material. And the next thing inside right here, right here is the bottom of the vacuum. So in see for the part, it does allow you guys to bring it up and down, left and right. And for this vacuum, it does not give you guys a self-standing option. So you see how when you guys do let go, it doesn't stand by itself. But the back part right here, you can see we do have the roller wheel option. So that way when you guys do use it, it'll glide through the floor real easy. And right here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So you can see the inside right here, we do have the very nice brush. And throughout the product on the side, they do have the brush option as well. And you can see right here, they do have the built-in LED light. So that way when you guys are using it at night, you can see where you guys are vacuuming. And then right here on the side, you can see we do have a button for you guys to release this part right here to take it out. So just like this, if you guys push it down, you guys can take this part out and that way you can clean it or wash it if you guys do need to. And once you guys are done, you guys can put it back inside and lock it back in. And see in the bottom right here, they also have small roller wheels as well. That way it can help you guys glide the product really easily when you guys do use it. But that is basically what the bottom part looks like. Right here, we do have the last part, which is for the handle option. So take out the wrapper first. So once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So you see right here, they do have the brand logo. Same thing for other side. Top part right here, we do have the ventilation fan to prevent it from overheating. Right here is basically where you guys want to insert the pole or the stick. Bottom part right here is the button you guys want to press to release the dustbin option. If it's first time you're in the product, you probably want to peel off this part right here first. So that way when you guys push on the button, it allows you guys to open up the bottom part. And once you guys have finished pouring out the trash, you guys can close it back up. And for this dustbin option, you do have the option to take it out. And the way how you guys take out the dustbin, you basically want to press on this button. But you basically want to peel off this tape right here in the back first as well. So once you guys do that, now you can take it out. All right, so that is basically how you guys take it out. And inside right here, we see we do have a washable filter that I showed you guys earlier. So this is basically the one that's inside and the other one's a backup option. And then for this part as well, you do have the option to take it out to rinse it and wash it. And then right here is basically what the inside looks like. So once you got it done, you can close it back up. Just like that. And for this part, it does have the built-in battery, so it's not removable. But right here in the back is basically where you plug in the cable to recharge it. And right here, we do have the button for you to activate it and change the different mode. And that is basically everything that's on the product. Before I turn it on to test it out, let me just plug in the cable to show you guys how to charge it up. So let's plug it in the back right here. Once you guys do plug it in, if you see for the top part right here, we do have the display screen. And it does show you guys that it's charging. So right now, it's around 82%. So it's not fully charged yet. But if you guys try to turn it on, it won't turn on because you do have the cable plugged in. But once you guys do unplug the cable, if you guys try to turn it on, it does turn on. Even here, it is pretty powerful when you guys do turn it on. But let's try to change the speed on here to show you guys what it sounds like. So let's turn it on. So 
there's basically two different speed levels available for you. There's a low and a high. If it's in here, when you guys do turn on high, it is pretty powerful. So in terms of the battery life that's on here when you guys do use it, if you guys use it on the lower setting, you can get around like 35 minutes of usage. And probably if you guys use it in the high setting, then you can get anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. I do want to mention inside right here, they mentioned how there's four different layers of filter. And for the back part right here, you can see we do have the slot. And that is basically where you guys are put on the wall mount option. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me just put everything together to show you guys what she looks like. So let's take this part in. And then for the bottom part, you guys want to stick in right here. Once you guys put everything together, here is basically what the product looks like. So if you guys do turn it on. That is basically what the product sounds like and what it actually looks like when you guys do use it. If you see the LED light that's on here is pretty bright. So that way when you guys are using it at night, you can definitely see where it's vacuuming. And on top of that, like I mentioned for right here, you do have the option for you guys to extend it. You can see how much further it can go. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Now I'm just going to test this out to show you guys what it actually looks like when you do use it on the ground. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. Alright, so right here we do have the product. If you see how short the product is when you guys do use it, but if you guys do fully extend it, this is basically how far it can go. But now let's turn it on to show you guys how well it works. So if you guys turn it on, here it basically actually sounds like a low. And then here it's high. So when you guys do turn it on high, it's definitely pretty powerful and it's pretty loud. But now let's test it out to see how well it works. So you can see when you guys do the product, it definitely works pretty well. You can see the inside right here, you can definitely see all the hair and the dust that got sucked up. So it is pretty powerful. And also, if you guys notice when you guys do use it, it actually goes pretty low. And you do have option to go left and right. Really easy as well. And when you guys do use the product, the roller wheel on here is actually really smooth. Like I mentioned, once you guys are done vacuuming, you guys can definitely open the dustbin to pour it out. So just like this, let's put this on one side. If you guys open it up and pour out the trash, it's literally so easy for us to pour out the dust or the trash. So that is basically everything that's on product. You can see the product definitely does work. Welcome back guys. So now let's quick test the product and definitely actually does work, actually works quite well. So obviously if you guys plan on using this at home, in office or anywhere else where you guys have a lot of dust or pet hair or anything else, the suction power that's on here is actually really strong for you guys to actually suck all of that up. But what I do want to mention is the fact that when you guys do use the product, you definitely want to make sure to clean everything inside in terms of dustbin, the filter, and everything else. So that way to prolong the life of the actual vacuum when you guys do use it. If there's anything that works that this product had, it would probably be the fact of how it can stand up by itself. If it did have that option built in, that would have been pretty nice. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we come boxing and testing butter, now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality cordless stick vacuum, like the one that we got right here. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't wanted these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.